Okay. Um, welcome everyone to our next shadow panel um, speaker series. My name is Maddie Obana and I'm the president of the junior class of 2022. Um, this panel is about BUILD, which is an elective program for students interested in business and entrepreneurship. We are joined today by the program coordinator, Mr. David Wyant, as well as several students and mentors from the BUILD program. We will hear from our speakers today and then um, welcome a formal question and answer session at the end of the presentation. Uh, feel free to add questions in the chat throughout or save them until the end. At this time, I'd like to turn it over to our uh, host for the day, Mr. Wyant. Okay, hello, welcome everyone. Um, thank you for the great introduction. Um, so my name is Mr. Wyant, David Wyant, and I am a teacher at Sequoia, obviously. I've been teaching at Sequoia for 21 years now. I am in the social studies department, and I've taught pretty much every class in it over the years. Um, currently, I am teaching IB business management, IB psychology, and this class, BUILD. Um, so we're going to get into the nuts and bolts of what BUILD is. We have lots of BUILD staff here. We have some mentors that have been mentoring with the build students for a very long time. And we actually have some builders that are here as well. So we're gonna break it up a little bit and we're gonna talk a little bit about the program. And then please feel free, as Maddie said, to put your questions in the chat and then we'll get to those and we'll, we'll answer any questions that you have. So um, Anna, did we wanna start off with the slides or should we do the video first? Yeah, we can start with the slides. Um, should we introduce ourselves first, though? As oh, well yeah, as sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sorry. Go yeah. ahead. We'll <laughs> okay, I'll start okay. and then I'll hand it over. Hi, everyone. My name is Anna Din and I'm BUILD's program manager on the peninsula. Um, I'll hand it over to our program director. Hi, everyone. My name is Kim Vin. I'm a former Sequoia High School teacher, actually, but I'm the program director for BUILD Bay Area now because BUILD is a really fantastic program that we can't wait to tell you about. Turn it to Ethel. Hi, everyone. My name is Itzel. I am the program associate here for Build Peninsula. Sitting can we have our mentors line. introduce themselves and then we can talk more to them later? Hi, I am Stan, Stan Karp, and I've been mentoring for over 10 years with Build, um, all different grades. Nice to meet you. Chris, you're on mute. Uh, yes, uh, my name is Chris Crump. Uh, like Stan, I've been a mentor uh, with Bill for many, many years, uh, almost all that time at Sequoia High School. Glad to meet everyone. And actually, do we have any Bill students out there that would love to introduce themselves? Yeah, hi, I'm Lovely Tatua, and I am a Class 2020 graduate and Bill. I'm just here to talk a little bit more about my Bill experience and um, just try to encourage you guys to join because it's such an amazing program. Thank you, lovely. All right, do we have any other BUILD students out there that have joined us so far? Okay, so let's take a look. Okay, Anna, do you want me to go through the slides and you can introduce the, the information or share the information? Yeah, that, that would be great, Mr. Ryan, thank you. Yeah. All right, so for those of you who do not know about BUILD, BUILD is a four-year program and it starts uh, during the ninth grade as an elective program. During the first year of BUILD, students learn how to start and run their own business. Uh, they gain spark skills like communication, collaboration, grit, and they also get to work with mentors during an after-school session. Uh, the second year of BUILD, students get to continue with their business, current business from uh, ninth grade year or um, they get to start a new business and they get to uh, participate in selling events. Um, and then during the third and fourth year of BUILD, students really explore different college and career options through internships and college campus visits and also get guidance through the college application process. So that's a really quick overview of what BUILD is. Hi, I'm Kerry, and I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Keep It Clean. Hi, my name is Wilson, and I'm the Chief Financial Officer of Keep It Clean. Hi, my name is Michael. I'm the Chief Operations Officer of Keep It Clean. 
Hi, my name is Marilyn, and I'm the Chief Marketing Officer of PCP. Okay, so thank you for introducing yourselves. This is a quick little video clip about what the BUILD program is about. BUILD is a program that teaches you how to be an entrepreneur, where you actually uh, create an idea and launch and run your business the first year as a freshman. Um, it's open to freshmen and sophomores, and what it does is it allows you to work together in the team or with the team to create a product and actually sell that product throughout the year. So um, this is a team called Keep It Clean. So Carrie, could you just briefly tell us, how did you guys come up with this idea of Keep It Clean and what is it? Um, so we came up with Keep It Clean on, in freshman year. Um, I had the original idea of the Keep It Clean yearbook cleaner. And once we went through some initial testing, we became a proper team. And what the Keep It Clean earbud cleaner is, it's, or well, the Keep It Clean is a earbud cleaner. Um, it has a small pick on one side of it to clean the indents in your earbuds and get into the small cracks to take out earwax. And then it has a sanitizing brush that is in rubbing alcohol. Um, and that brush is used to um, wipe down the outside of your butt. Okay. Um, Wilson, what did you learn about teamwork when it came to uh, coming up with this idea? Yeah, so as Kerry said, it was originally his idea, but when we all came together, uh, we really refined the idea and uh, it took the four of us to create the final product, which sold really well throughout the year. Uh, the most important thing about teamwork in build is that you can't really do any of the business aspect of build all by yourself because there's administration stuff that you need to take care of you need to think about your finances as well as manufacturing your product so it takes a whole team to get that running uh, smoothly and efficiently and um, according to your mentors you are an amazing team to work with so Marilyn can you tell us a little bit about the mentors uh, yeah sure so freshman year, while we are doing our mentor sessions, we get mentors that we work with. First, we experiment with different mentors and how we work with them. And then while we have our teams ready, we also get our, our mentors ready as well. And um, we have the honor set of having Stan and Sonia. <laughs> Stan and Sonia through our freshman year and unfortunately during our sophomore year, Sonia left. So we had another mentor named Ali along with Stan and um, they are the most wonderful people. They help you either with build or academically or outside of school either way. Um, and I think it's really important that while we are in our teams, we also have our mentors along with us. So I heard it said that the mentors are adults that aren't your teachers, aren't your parents. They're just adults that can help you in your schooling and the process of creating your business. Can you just share a quick story, Marilyn, about like how a mentor stepped up and helped you do something related to business, school, or personal? Actually, my favorite one is that while we were preparing for our business pitch, together as a team. Um, I was really nervous. And um, while we were while we were in mentor session, Dan had said to just get it together. And um, to, to like to get it together and make sure that you are going to say what you want to say, and not just read it out of a paper. And like, it really helped, honestly, really helped. Okay, thank you so much. Michael, last but not least, um, what skills did you learn and build that have helped you in other classes? Personally, uh, one skill set that I've uh, developed while in the current two years of build, now on three, uh, is uh, public speaking, since I used to be really shy uh, at speaking. Uh, during classes, I can speak more freely. I don't really have that shyness anymore. Okay. So, yeah. okay. Thank you so much, Michael. Well, this has been a sort of a brief summary of the idea of what build um, is. It's a class you can take freshman year. It's a class that teaches you entrepreneurial skills. It's a class that allows you to work with mentors outside of the classroom time that allows you to perfect your business. You come up with an idea, 
you pitch for money, you launch your business and you make money. Do, do any of you remember roughly how much money you made your freshman year at the end? Roughly? I think about over $200 in profit. Yeah. And actually, um, I just realized I have this always on my desk, um, is the, one of the original keep it clean, your big cleaner. So you can see we have the, uh, pick right here and then the brush in rubbing alcohol that you can unscrew, take out and use to clean your earbuds. Like this is one of the first ones we might've ever made. <laughs> And I'll leave it with this. One of the best comments was from a mentor that said, I never knew I needed that product until you convinced me I needed it. So everyone, thank you for paying attention to our video. We really appreciate your time and we hope to see you in Bill. Go. Hi, I'm Karen. Okay, so I think that's the segue to um, talking to the mentors. So if we could start with Stan, since he has some familiarity. Um, what, what, is, what is one area that you saw a lot of growth in with the builders from first meeting them in usually September, October to May of that school year? As freshmen? Um, yeah. Yeah, as freshmen, I would say just there over the course of not that many months, three to four months, their confidence in presenting and speaking to their ideas, um, even even one on one you know, initially and then in front of a small group of people. Um, so that so that's something they don't that I haven't seen that freshmen get in other classes that there's uh, something special about the build program that allows them to come together and encourage each other with the men, you know, our support, but also each other. And to me, it's about teamwork. So, you know, everybody has a part and everybody participates and, and if somebody doesn't want to, or, you know, is a little hesitant, then, then it's gentle encouragement. It's not forcing anybody to do anything, but it's, it's learning at, you know, at, at a ninth grade level that, um, yeah, bit by bit. So, so for me personally, I learned to, you know, be patient and because I've worked with different teams over the years and just patience and encouragement um, are sort of some of the, the key words um, that I like to use when I'm working with. Uh, with and I'll, I'll go to Chris in a, thank you, Sam. I'll go to Chris in a second, but just to kind of follow up on that, Stan. Then what about growth over the years? Because you've worked with lots of teams over multiple years. Um, how would you say build has helped them develop into not just their build idea or the build business, but like sort of students and, and citizens and members of the school? Like what benefits have you seen with that? Well, uh, that they show up. I mean, they're there at all the meetings that they're this year at our, you know, um, and you know, as jun as juniors, and so every year, it's it's um, they're just showing up, and there's in a sense, I, I can step back and be more on the sideline, or myself and the other mentor, um, because they they take the initiative. They'll speak up. They'll they'll do the management. They'll you know give the updates if if, if, if that's asked for in a in a group setting. Um, so it's not like oh come on you can do it you can you know it's it's more like they built that confidence and that. Um, enthusiasm about life and about what they're doing and of course this year has been extra difficult with so much you know all, a lot of the social interactions shut down or just from home and so it's been a little bit you know it's even over zoom we've been able to keep keep the rapport going uh, i feel and with the team and with them just staying connected and not not disappearing and and just being there for each other okay thank you Chris, you were nodding your head a lot. Um, what do you see in, as in terms of areas of growth through the freshman year and then growth in terms of the multiple years that you've worked with people? So I think I agree with Stan. That, that was the word I was gonna come up with before he said a confidence. Um, primarily because you get uh, the ninth graders to step out of the comfort zone. Um, you know, it's pretty easy to force, you know, not force them, but you know, feed them the answer and have them just kind of do it. But to get them to come out of the comfort, their, uh, the comfort zone and to, you know, to nudge them on and give them a, give them a sort of a, a 
uh, direction and watch them go and do it on their own. There's a lot of times it's research or uh, I always tell them there's not a, none of the ideas are stupid. So I, I think that's uh, the c confidence they get the freshman year. And even going, if you stay with a team to their senior year, at the end, they're young adults there. They're not like the crazy freshmen. Um, they're, they're off going to college almost in every case. And, you know, they've got confidence to you know, leave home or if they're leaving home and to go off on their own. So I think that's, that's, that's the win-win for everybody. I mean, I feel good about it and the other mentors feel good about it. And the students have, have you know, accomplished quite a bit uh, in the freshman year and if they stay four years uh, by the time they're seniors. Okay. Lovely. I saw you nodding a few for a few of those comments. What would you like to add about your experience? Yeah, no, they hit a lot of uh, points that I really seen in my team and in myself. Uh, one thing that I did also notice that a lot of uh, people on my team and just everybody in general and build is that we developed um, our own personal brand and we, we got to really get a better understanding of what professionalism is. And it's something that um, I, got, I, <laughs> I got a lot of compliments on and a lot of people told me that they didn't really uh, learn until later on in their years. So it's really such a great experience to get exposure to stuff like this early on so that you can continue to um, develop and, and make your own person, uh, professional brand. And it's just something that by the end of the year, a lot of people just gained a new sense of maturity and you can really see the professional in them. And tell us what your product was. Oh, <laughs> so my company name was IV, or EV Colors and basically we were an iBlack company. And so, what we did is that we built or we made a product where it not only blocked the sun's glare, but it also left your skin feeling nourished and really moisturized. And it was something that other products were were lacking. So we really wanted to optimize on that and just try to take advantage of that and make it our strength. And lovely, I have to share this because um, Marilyn in the video mentioned this because Stan came to her rescue when she was really nervous about presenting and, and basically helped her kind of calm down a bit. I remember your first idea pitch presentation when you had everything memorized, but you just went off on the story about your brother yeah. and how like, how are you going to miss that catch? The ball was right in your hand and it just became <laughs> like more real and more connected. I always share that story with my students that you can get the information across just by being real and, and telling a story. You know, it's always fun and it's, um, it's, it also makes you more relaxed when you put some anecdotes and like stories in there because you're really familiar with it. And it just makes you feel relaxed and it just helps deepen your bond with the audience. So I definitely think that if you, in any presentation you have a story that's funny or entertaining, it just really brings back the engagement of the audience and it just makes, it just strengthens your, your, um, your presence <laughs> in, in the presentation. And just to kind of build on that a little bit. Um, so outside of build in your other classes, when you have to give that presentation in English or when you do like sort of group work in math, like how has build helped you, you know, been able to be able to, you know, be successful? You know, it was crazy. I didn't like present uh, presenting before build, but I was, I actually found myself looking forward to presentations when I was in like English presentations or, or presenting in math, anything that I could do to really stand up and just like make my presence known in the class was, was just a fun and entertaining experience. So I think build really helped shift my perspective of what presenting is. So that, that, that's what I have to say about that. Okay, great, thank you. Um, build staff, do you have any questions that you'd like to ask the mentors or lovely? I'd love to um, hear lovely talk about what you thought going into it freshman year. You talked a lot about how you grew from it, but when you were a freshman, what were your first thoughts and then what kept you in it? Good question. Um, it was kind of intimidating. There was a lot of people I didn't know because I did move from a different district. <laughs> so I didn't really have, um, especially the professional aspect of a build, but as a, as a program, it, you know, progressed, I just started building those relationships in build and just started um, getting a better sense and understanding of what build really is. And it really is just a big family or just a second family. So um, after getting to know that and really getting to know um, everybody and um, just 
just really immersing myself in into the program and giving it my all it <laughs> just everything changed from there and, and I just found it as a really positive really informative and fun experience <laughs> So I think that we can open it up to questions. And Maddie's going to help me out by checking the chat. Um, yeah, if you guys have any questions, definitely enter them in the chat right now. We don't have any. Um... Or you can unmute and ask us. That would work as well. In a normal, we're all at school year, the class usually happens. By the way, I'm just one of the freshman teachers. We have two. So we have two sections. And Sequoia is lucky that we're one of the few schools in the peninsula that had, we're the only school, I think, that has two sections of build. So we have two teachers teaching it. Um, but in the normal back to school in person world, it usually happens at seventh period every day. Um, and that's, we meet at the end of every day for 50 minutes. So we have this great consistency that we see the students every day. Mentor session is usually on a Tuesday, Wednesday, or a Thursday. We pick a night, depending. Um, so if we say it's Wednesday, then on every Wednesday, we have mentor session, and that's after school, and that's when the mentors come. And that's, um, Lovely can probably attest to this. Um, how much work and then how much help and success did you achieve from the mentor sessions? Well, we did have a lot of work going into the mentorship, uh, into the mentor sessions, but we got so much help from our mentors, so much wisdom and experience were shared with us during those sessions. And we just got so much done. It, it was really productive, really fun and enjoy, uh, overall, just, I don't know, you, you make, you make it what you want to make it. Our, our, um, I know from experience, our group or in our mentor session was uh, really relaxed but at times when we needed to work we just got everything out and we and we worked and we did it all even though it was a lot of work we we still found a way to do it and those mentor ses sessions really had a big impact on why we were successful and I think just to clear up uh, for some people who might have a question about this part so can you just do you remember which what the presentations were about and what happened as a result of them do you remember them lovely the presentations you mean when we were throughout the freshman year pitching our, pitching our product yeah and it was a while ago so the presentations usually we were pitching our product and we were trying to make people um we're trying to know or we're trying to help people know what our product is and make them want to invest in and it really helps support our product I think that was the majority of the presentations, correct? Yeah, so so we, we, we start off the year in the fall coming up and pitching a whole bunch of different ideas and we get some um, judges and evaluators to decide um, which ideas are the most feasible and can go forward. And then in the spring, we form teams and then teams really work on the ideas. They work on sourcing the materials, they work on their marketing plan, they work on their finances, they have to figure out how much they need to ask for because it leads up to a VC pitch which you actually ask for money. So you have these judges that are gonna to listen to your presentation and um, give you feedback, but they're also there to see if you're prepared enough that they can write you a check to get you the money that you need to start your business. And then we have maybe two or three um, sale, sales events or selling events where the builders can actually sell. One of them is at lunchtime on campus. Another one usually takes place across the street at Box at the software uh, company right by the train station. And then we have a culminating activity at the end of the year. It's sort of like, uh, keep calling it like the Super Bowl, where we bring all, all the teams together from the peninsula. And we sort of have a little celebration slash competition to talk about growth, reflection, and reflect on our business throughout the year. So those are the main presentations that happen throughout the year. OK, um, there are some questions um, from Courtney Rappaport. Um, how do you sell your products? Do you remember, Lovely? Yeah, so, so just like Mr. Wyatt uh, mentioned, there are actually, there's events dedicated to selling our products. And there's one on campus, which is really fun because all your friends are there. So you can tell them um, ahead of time to just come and support. Even if they don't buy anything, the support is just some emotional support. <laughs> 
but it's really fun. You get to sell them there and you get to sell them at Vox. So you actually get to move um, and change scenery and you get to really network or, or really uh, not network, but to just get experience on how to sell um, in person. But I don't think they're doing that that year this, this year, correct, Mr. Wyant? Yeah, this year is obviously different because of the situation with COVID. Okay. Um, but typically what would happen is once you get funding um, and you're starting to manufacture, or create your product, you have an event at lunch at Sequoia. And then we also have an event after school during a mentor session at Vox. And then the culminating year end event, you can sell there as well. Plus you can sell throughout the year into your classmates. Um, you know, I kept talking about Lovely and her friends that are in sports and there's lots of people that need eye black. I mean, Mr. Uhaldi's here and he knows baseball players definitely would appreciate cutting the glare. So the selling opportunities are, there are three organized ones, but they have as many as they are willing to, to do outside of those. Hey, yeah. Marilyn. Oh, sorry. I was just going to add to what you said when you can sell all year round. It's really fun selling on campus because you get to talk and actually connect with other people. I know that I would go um, out to the forest or, yeah, to where all the trees are. And I would just go talk to a lot of people and just try to pitch my idea. And you can also just practice on your pitch. Um, and so, yeah. Okay. Maddie, do we have another question? Yes. Um, where do you, oh, well, I mean, I'm just going to ask a question even though you kind of already covered it but okay, right. um where do we sell our product um do we make websites as well is there a limit to what you can make uh marilyn can i kind of put you on the spot for that one um we kind of talked about where we sell our products um can you talk about like any use of social media that you had or any other sort of technology that you use to sell your products yeah sorry you introduce yourself and say what your product was and I mean, we, we saw you in the video, but go ahead. All right, so hi, my name is Marilyn. I'm the chief marketing officer of a team called Keep It Clean and our product is an earbud cleaner. And we sold, freshman year, we sold at many different events, um, including in the school, which, the, which was a lunch sales event, and then another event at Box, which is very fun, by the way. Um, we, we sold at that one and it was, including other schools. And then we also did other sales events, including our, um, I'm so sorry, what was it called? The last? Oh, the, the business plan competition. Yes, yeah. the last business plan competition, which we sold while also competing with other schools um, in the peninsula. And sophomore year, unfortunately, got cut off by COVID. And we were quarantined, so we weren't able to sell in person, but we were able to sell on another website in which we were working on um, before school shut down. And that was on a website called 99designs. And we, we made our own logo, which we also used for our website called keepitclean.com. And um, we sold our products there. And yeah, it went really well. We, we were able to promote our our, our website through um, our Instagram, which we also had an Instagram. I was, I was the head of the Instagram account. Um, we, we use that Instagram account to keep in check with everyone, let them know that we were active, that we were selling our products and also let an insight on how the team worked and how much fun we were having. And I see that Jason asked that question. Um, and actually this year, because we are remote, our, our, product that we're working on is doing a, an evaluation of um, different clients that have posted videos about their current situation dealing with COVID. And what the students this year are doing is picking one of the clients and then developing a point of view statement about their situation. And they're going to come up with a product idea, a campaign or a service that relates to that person's um, issues in dealing with COVID. So it's all online now. There's links, there's videos, there's information. Um, so they do have access to doing that. And as Marilyn said, she was able to create a website last year to sell the product. Um, one last question, or um, I see your question, um, Pearl Bloom, but I'm not, could you elaborate on your question?
So I, 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 I saw the question and I'll do my best to answer based on what I saw. Um, so it's for incoming freshmen. So um, as the freshmen get oriented with the school, they'll have a chance to sign up for classes. So build is an elective, it's an A through G elective that they can take. Um, the other part of it looks like a grade. So I don't know if you're talking about grade level or actual grading, but it's a class for students that, you know, they can do really well. So for some students who, who struggle in other classes for other reasons, BUILD has so much support. You can see all the BUILD staff members here today, plus the mentors that support them all the way through. So grading for BUILD is, you know, are you showing up? Are you doing the deliverables? Are you coming to mentor session? And it's a really easy way for them to get a really good grade. So I, I hope that answers your question, Pearl. If that's it for questions, I think that's it for this presentation. Um, yeah, um, thank you all for coming. Um, and just to let you guys know, this panel will be found on the shadow page for our Sequoia website. Um, and um, uh, here's just some information or the link to our eighth grade info night. Let me just put this in the chat really quickly. And then do we have a link for the anyone interested? Oh, yeah. Um, other than that, thank you guys for coming. Um, and that will conclude our build Zoom meeting panel. Thank you, Maddie. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Holly. Thank you. Thank you, build staff. Thank you for coming, everybody. Thank you, everyone. Bye. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.